The Ryan Reese Show from Southern California. This is The Ryan Reese Show. Post your questions using at Ryan Reese on his Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Are you ready? All right. It is going down this evening. I am actually at a new location for this particular show. Um, I'm out in Peru, in Trujillo, Peru. And a lot of you guys have been following uh, the the show over the years. Uh, we were here actually last year for a conference um, at Calvary Chapel at Trujillo. And we got to present about the Whosoever's Movement, about what uh, we're doing globally uh, to invade the public school systems with the gospel. And God's been awesome because he's been opening major doors through the government in all these different countries around the world, uh, from Australia to now we're uh, in India uh, all through South America, different locations in South America, uh, Central America starting to open up, Mexico, and obviously all over the United States. But we are here now. Um, we got invited back to come, and we are praying to see how we would actually be able to get into the schools. Well, again, God pulls through once again and gets us in through the government. So we came to Trujillo, which we landed in Lima and then came up to Trujillo, about an hour and a half plane ride, and we went into nine of the largest public schools here in the area. But we're going to tell you some stories of some things that went down. We got kicked out of one of the schools uh, for sharing the gospel. Meanwhile, all the kids are getting saved at this particular assembly, but the principal wasn't too excited about it, mm -hmm. and he blackballed us from another assembly. But we're going to get into that a little bit later, but that's just to, to whet your appetites of how it, uh, some of the things that went down while we were out here. But... Um, as we uh, arrived, uh, a Sebastian Seba came from Calvary Chapel, Iquique, down in uh, Chile. It's actually the north of Chile, which we were there about five months yeah. ago, and I was touring with you in the public schools. You're a teacher as well, mm. and uh, we toured the schools in that whole area. That's right on the coast by the beach, just like here mm. in Trujillo, but... Um, it went so well that you went back and you started talking to the local schools and then even down in Santiago, which is about a three hour plane ride roughly yeah. to, to Santiago, to the main city. Mm. And then Christina, mm. our ambassador came back to meet you mm. and you guys toured. And now you are actually one of our ambassadors for the whosoever's and evangelists here in, uh, in, in Chile as yeah. well, but you flew in to Peru. Yeah. So I want to ask you some few questions because South America, like, it's so different in all the countries because we come from America and we have, you know, the States, mm -hmm. right? And it's, it's different, but it's not like a completely, you know, it's all America mm -hmm. in a sense, you know, mm -hmm. United States, yeah. but coming here to Peru, mm -hmm. what do you see the difference here? When you arrived, you started talking to people. What do you see here in Peru versus, you know, the difference maybe of, of, of Chile? Yeah, um, was crazy because the first time that the, the first day that I arrived here, I going to the park, you know, you know. Mm. So my idea is to know the the culture, talk with the people, yeah, yeah. And ask to some youth people, some people that I can see that they know about the real things, right? So I asked them, hey guys, what is the most hard things that happened here mm -hmm. that probably nobody t tried to talk, right? And uh, and one guy that is, is interested because he's a guy that is working here. The things that are silent in the culture, it's like the elephant in the room as we refer to it in yeah. America, but no one's talking about it. Yeah. Right. This idea. So yeah, yeah it's the thing that you're putting yeah. behind. Yeah. 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 So that guy said me, yeah, there are two things that here is we like local people, we know that happened, but it's, it's not things that, that you can read on the newspaper right. or you see on the news. So there are the, the two things is uh, extortion, mm -hmm. you know, and and well, first of all, what is extortion? Yeah, yeah, exactly. this is the crazy thing because we see something like this in one of the school that we visited. Right, and I didn't understand it when you told me, so yeah. that's why I explained to the listeners yeah. what exactly is extortion. Yeah, this is the thing. Um, here, the culture is more conservative, uh, but they have a lot of a problem with money things, you know. So, so there are some students. Mm -hmm. Between eight years old, mm -hmm. imagine this, eight years old to five, 15 years old, and they have knife inside of the schools. Inside. Inside. And they say to, to, to their partners, to the, the, the other guys. Students. Yeah, to the other students. They say, I don't, I will don't hit you. I will don't 
uh, made you bad things yeah. if you give money to me. Right. If you give money one time per week. Wow. Yeah. So so yeah. so that, this guy they say they, they tell me, you know, this is a thing that I live for five years. In all the days that I co going to the school, I was so afraid. My parents, they are so afraid. So all the weeks we need to spend money for that guys for don't wow. hurt me. That's that's amazing. And then you actually okay. So speaking of which. So these kids are working to get the money so they don't get hurt by these guys that are yeah that are doing these bad things. Yeah, and there are some kids, for example, that the it's, I, because, I, it's also because these guys do because they have no money. Yeah, so they're poor, yeah. so yeah. they're like, we got to get money for our family. Yeah, so we're gonna rob some kids that have money. Yeah, and and, and it's it's things that happen um, for the borders of Trujillo. Yeah, mm. so for example, uh, their name is El Milagro. That is a hard place that I visited. Yeah. Two days ago, mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that that is crazy for me that you know you know that the, the movie Son of Freedom you know yeah. so this yeah, is yeah. an issue the that human trafficking yeah stuff. it's yeah. amazing dude it's crazy dude this a girl that say that here one time per week the people found body of some of the kids you know mm -hmm. some kids some girls uh, and you they only found the head bad the body without the organs so you here have organ harvesting right you know that right. that's orbics, yeah dude i when this girl told me about this i i i start to cry but i that i try to to, to show a, a hard face but i i'm never this is a thing that that i can see in chile you know yeah. it probably happened but it, here it's, it's common and 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 the guy say look I will send to you now. I give my 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 num my number. Yeah. <laughs> he sent me by WhatsApp uh, all the the news that the really? local people have, and many citizens here they have WhatsApp groups, so they are um, sending pictures of the kids and daughter that oh, are disappearing. Oh my gosh! For please help me to find it. Right. And I have now on my WhatsApp is like nine pictures. So you have nine weeks before right. that nine kids are disappearing for that thing. So it's it's so sad, dude. That I can't, you know, being a father, you're, you're a father. No, as well, yeah, but I too. couldn't even imagine the yeah. thought of this. Just it makes me just want to cry, basically. Yeah. You know, just imagine yeah. this happening to one of your children. Um, I was watching something on um, I don't know, it's like some, it's like some like FBI or someone that was reporting about human trafficking and they were talking about you know is the human trafficking is it is it for sex or is or you know is it just solely for sex but no. they were talking about a majority of it is there is sex slaves and all yeah. that but the majority of it is organ harvesting yeah. and it's people need organs for their other kids or whatever and mm. they sell them on the black market and this mm. is a global thing for yeah. even adults yeah uh, uh, children, but it's just disgusting. Yeah, it's literally disgusting, and yet it's happening here, mm. and it's very common. But no one's doing anything about it because they don't report it. Yeah, because and, it's so common. Yeah, and this is a hard thing because you know we can see how the evil or the devil. Yeah, exactly. He's he's using the poor people for bad things. So it's this is a, a crazy thing that I can see in the juvenile jail, you know, in mm -hmm. Iquique, mm -hmm. uh, after to the Whosoever's tour, yeah. the Lord gave me the opportunity for a start uh, a Bible study inside the juvenile center. Yeah. And well, I, all those kids were like cartel kids that we were with, yeah. that we ended up leading to the Lord, and now you're back in there, yeah. and you're doing a Bible study with all them. Yeah, and That's th amazing. Dude, and thanks to the Lord, now we have three guys that yeah. they, they have the, the calling for be pastors. Three of those kids. Yeah, and and, wow. and one of that guy, for example, was a hitman. Uh -huh. He was the most respect guy inside of the juvenile jail, and now he's <laughs> he's a real strong believer. And the director of uh -huh. the juvenile jail, she do she she moved that guy to different parts because he so is a good leader. He's leading them all, the Lord. That's so amazing. It's amazing. But I why I explain this yeah. because I see that the, the the same thing with with this side of people. It's poor people and the devil is putting inside of these places um, and, and, and and they give a lot, uh, no, it's a less of money, you know, mm -hmm. it's 
for doing bad things. Yeah. So for drugs, for hit, for right. being hitman, yeah. for kidnapping, a lot of kidnapping. No, dude. So yeah, yeah, it's a it's an issue that that in the local places the people know. This is an, another crazy thing, Ryan. That a parents tell me uh, that they they try to go in with the kids with the students at the same door of the schools, and there some of the parents are waiting all the, the eight hours, the eight hours of the school, mm -hmm. they are outside of the schools waiting their kids for be secure, you know? Dude, I totally understand that. It's a crazy world we're living in. And even in America, yeah. it's, it's getting even crazier yeah. with this whole kidnapping and all this stuff. Mm. Okay, so that's two of the big issues that are going on mm. in here in Peru. Now, we you got here we uh we, Jairus Hodges was yeah. here from St. Pete Florida which is another ambassador from the Whosoever's movement and um and Zeal School Ministry which is a discipleship program that yeah. we uh we are uh directing people to go to to get discipled for a year if they're mm. 18 to 35 years old um, amazing program out there at Calvary Chapel St. Pete Florida um uh so when we got to the schools what did um Let's talk about some of the stories because we had you share, we had Jairus all in over mm. kids and teachers, and yeah. I got to give the gospel as well. But here, here's a couple cool things to kind of give you a little background. Mm. So we came out here with Calvary Chapel, uh, Trujillo, Peru. Within that, they have a discipleship program called um, CBI, CBI yeah. which is the um, Calvary Bible Institute, yeah. which uh, I talked to the the main guy that is uh, puts, puts them all together around the world. There's 13 of them now globally yeah. and still growing. So they had their students from here that mm. are part of Peru. So there's uh, Peruvians, Mexicans yeah. uh, from Mexico, and then An Italian. um, Italians yeah. <laughs> and uh, different countries are all here mm. at the school. But then also... We had uh, a group of Americans come in mm. um, from Kauai, Hawaii, yeah. <clears throat> the island over there, and they're CBI students too. Mm. So they're doing a mission trips after uh, coming to meet with us down to the jungle, to the mm. Amazon. So they flew in from Hawaii. They're here. So we brought those group of students <clears throat> and these other students from here. And we took them into the public school system yeah. to show them how the whosoever's movement, yeah. which is a group of evangelists that go into the public school systems mm. and reaches people for Christ. Yeah. So we wanted to show them an or unorthodox, radical way of <laughs> organized chaos <laughs> to go in. You know, we have, we have skateboarding. We're all in over the teachers, kids. We got a mascot that looks like a raccoon because that's our mascot. Yeah. He's running around. Riot. His name's Riot. He's causing a riot. <laughs> We got the, you know, the megaphone. We got a bunch of electronic music uh, uh, pounding the kids with bass. They're, then we do a dance contest. <laughs> yeah. And then we grab the mic and we share the gospel. Mm. And it was awesome because obviously as we tell our testimony, but then we weave the gospel into it, the cross of what mm. Jesus did. Mm. They're sinners. They're, we know we, we call out the, they're dealing with depression, anxiety, suicide, all the hopelessness, broken mm. homes. You know, being abused by parents, mm. addiction, all mm. the different things that are going on globally because we're all connected to screens through screen time globally. It's the same issues wherever you go in the world. Mm. Doesn't matter where you're at. Mm. Peru, mm. Chile, mm. Los Angeles, mm. Orange County, Hawaii, Australia, mm. Europe. It does not matter. The kids are going through the same stuff because yeah. we're all watching the same stuff. We're connected. Mm. Then we do uh, the altar call, which is the moment when we tell people to come forward if they want to receive Christ. They're just coming forward. Some teachers got saved. Yeah. Some principals got saved. Yeah. They come forward. We pray for them. And then after we have the CBI students with translators, whether they be in the school or not in the school, mm. and they went out because now – we uh, we look at ourselves. It's funny as as a joke. We're like, I tell the whosoever's ambassadors that are you know evangelists. Yeah. I say we're going in and we're weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> we come in, mm. we drop the gospel. The Holy Spirit bomb drops. Boom! The job of the Holy Spirit is to draw man to mm. themselves. Mm. They repent. They give their life to Christ. The Holy Spirit fills them, and then the Holy Spirit is still moving in mm. that place. Mm. So what happens is the students start going through and they start talking. Mm. Our students, mm. the CBI students, mm. they get activated and they start talking to the students as well. And meanwhile, even before they start talking to students and witnessing more, and they actually start leading more people to the Lord before they're giving the students high fives. They're already like in the dance concert. Mm. They're like messing around, <laughs> causing a riot. So the friendship, the relationship, all the doors and walls have come down yeah. and we're all connected 
from all hanging out and partying mm. pre gospel. Mm. So now the doors are open. Now they're talking to the students and they're mm. praying with more people. Mm. They're asking the students more, uh, more uh, about other things and the students are opening up to them and the ministry just continues. Mm. We're giving out the gospel of John in some countries like the Philippines. We just got back from Mexico, Colombia, different places. We had the Gideons come in yeah. and give out th- like, th- you know, 3000 Bibles in the first day and a half. They ran out of Bibles. <laughs> so, it's really amazing what actually happens hmm. during this school event. Hmm. But talk about one story, the one story about um, that photo. I saw you up with a group of kids. <laughs> you weren't speaking on this particular yeah. school, but uh, I think I spoke that school. But then I saw you at the top and you were around this like group of guys. Hmm. What, what was going on in there? Yeah, I, I see that you are praying, but probably it's like uh, 200 students with you. So you're praying, and I see a a, a, a group that is uh, up to the to the to the stairs, you know. Yeah, they're at the very top of the arena. Yeah. it's like a big arena on both yeah. sides. Yeah, yeah. So I I went to them, and I asked them, "Hey, why you don't went for praying? What what happened with you?" Mm-hmm. And they say, "Yeah, we believe, but uh, but we have power here, so we we try to don't show that we are weakness." Weakness, right. you know? Yeah. yeah, their weakness, yeah. Yeah, so, so I ask, why? why what, what is type of power you have here? And a, and a guy say, this is my power, boom. And the show knife. me a knife. The knife. A knife. So I, so I, I, I shared with them my a little of my testimony because uh, my, my dad tried to kill me, you know, when, right. when I was six years old. Mm. So when I start to talk with that, with those guys, they are put out tension and I asked to, 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 and I say to, to that guy that, that, that showed me with the knife, and he say, you know that there are somebody more powerful than you. And one day, you will go in, in front of him, and he will show you his oil, the power, but you don't have the time for repent at that moment. Mm-hmm. So he see me, his face was changing, and I can see the, the face to the other guy, I am not talking the sovereign religion that the angels coming to you and and you will no, you need to repent, dude. Right. Because now these guys, this is to that passing from, probably you heard that their minds, their hearts, so you know that now you are a worker of the devil. Yeah. And, and when I say this, they're like, oh, I, yeah, yeah. It's like. So, and I asked to to him that that he if he available for 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 repent and 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 say Jesus you will be my Lord and he said yeah 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 and that guy was the 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 boss the boss know? of him yeah. yeah so the other he say me too me, me too. too me too boom and, and we pray him so, so it's necessary because there are people that when the who's, when the killing is story hap, uh, are happening. There are people that are seeing, so you need people, or the other ambassador, or the other people is praying and saying, I, this is a thing that I, I told you with Christina. The idea is, for example, one of us is praying for the group, the others is saying, what is the people that we need to talk specifically mm. and personal? Because the Holy Spirit mm. show you. So with that said, when you're in these events, you could see as you look at the crowd because when you're speaking you could see the kids that are like uh, talking mm. and then you see the kids that are like just glued mm. and if you're on the sidelines and you're mm. waiting to see who to pray for mm. if you're watching god will highlight you'll see the ones that are paying attention and then you'll see the ones that respond mm. okay well those ones that responded they went up to go pray mm. but what about the ones that were paying attention watching but they didn't go up mm. those are the ones because mm. they're into it but maybe they were scared to go up or whatever, or maybe they had some more questions. Mm. Those are the ones you got to go to mm. because you picked those ones off too. Mm. You know? No, what's crazy. So, so you and know. That's what happened with you, basically. Yeah. And, and this is a thing that I wanted to say that because you are talking about what's up with the, with the kill the noise or whatever. Um, with Christina, like you say, we do on a tour, probably would take a month. You know, it's what's mm. crazy in August. Yeah. So we visited, we visited places without carry chapels with all churches mm. and the Lord give us opportunity for having people now mm. that they are believers mm. but they don't have a place for going mm. so the whosoever is going to a place we are 
given to the gospel, but now we need to pray for having more Christian strong believers, mm -hmm. for more pastor, yeah. more churches, for preparing these yeah. people. Because is remember the the, the girl that uh, wrote us that mm -hmm. she asked to us. Yeah. I have some question. How can I know more of God? So Jesus gave us that scripture that says the harvest is right, yeah. but the workers are few. Yeah. And what we've what we've done for the listening audience that maybe there's someone new that's mm. listening, when we go into the schools, <clears throat> we're there to share our testimony mm. and to give the gospel and lead people to the Lord. But it depends where we're at. Mm. So when we're in America, we go into the Bible schools. Mm. So the Bible schools are the discipleship program that's already set up. Mm. They're there ready. So you you reach, you tell people to come forward to pray and then you plug them right into the Bible mm. club. It's there and the Bible club plugs people into the church, local church. Mm. That's the job. That's mm. how it operates. And it works great. Mm. But when you go to different countries, like for instance, we were in the Philippines recently mm. and if you listen to that show when we went on tour, mm. there was one place where we took a, uh, well, then again, we we went with to, with, to Calvary Chapel Tagatai and then we had CBI with us, mm. the students, and they came on tour with us. So mm. we showed them how to do the, the Great Commission, and they right. were doing the same thing. But there was a, uh, there was an opportunity to go to an island. So we had to get on a boat in the Philippines and go across this uh, this uh, the ocean, <laughs> the ocean to an island, which we almost tipped over. I was like, oh, that's sketchy. We started like turning hard. I was like, oh, we're, we're going to go over. We all had like, there was like laptops and video cameras. And I was like, oh, there they go, bottom of the Filipino ocean. Um, but... When we were there, they did not have a uh, not they didn't have one church there oh. on the island. But it's like a village. Like you're talking like chickens and like huts and like. <laughs> but we went in and there was thousands of kids in the school mm. and and I mean I think that was our biggest school. We, there was like a thousand kids in one assembly. Yeah. And they all came forward and gave their life to Christ. Yeah. But that particular situation. We need to plant a church there. Yeah. So you need a missionary to go. The harvest is ripe, as mm -hmm. we saw in that village, but the workers are few. Who's yeah. going to go, right? Yeah. So so with that said, it depends. Uh, but other parts of the Philippines, we had the Gideon show up, yeah. and we were able to get Bibles there. Mm. And then in Mexico, we had uh, the schools want us to come back in and teach English. So the local church went in and taught English, and they allowed them to use the Bible to teach English. Mm. So it's like... You can't put the Holy Spirit in a box, right? Yeah, and, and you know... It's Sometimes you got to trailblaze. You can see this in the Bible, you know, that when sometimes Paul going to new places and, and, and he can see uh, Christian believers and, they, and we ask how that people are know Jesus because they are living so far of the things that happen. But it's something that the Holy Spirit do it. You know, uh, I have two, two favorite stories, you know, for, yeah. for telling you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, One of this happened in Chile. Um, we are uh, sharing with, with a school, thousands of students, mm. and it was amazing, dude. You, you know that probably this is one of my favorite places that I'm sharing the, mm. the, the, the gospel. And at the end, yeah, I returned to my house, and oh, no, I, with Christina, we're, we are traveling, and I, and I have a DM. And I, and I read this. Hey, uh, Sebastian, uh, I am one of the girls that, that pray with you today. And let me know, let me tell you something because I have a question. Uh, after of this event, we went to the hill because in that place of, of the south of Chile, they the, the youth people this going fun and they have chill on the hills. You know, it's yeah. for me it's crazy because I am on the north and we went to the beach. Right, uh, that people going hate, to the hill. They yeah. hang on the hills. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so she's tell me this. Uh, I start to sharing with the guys that is not going with us to the school because it's people that is not is not went to the school right so they, they're just the people at the hills chilling in, the, in that area yeah so uh -huh. so he, she wrote me this i start to, to sharing what happened inside and i can see the the face of, of the, the the other people and they start to cry wow the holy spirit just speaking there she's and evangelizing I, I say this to her mm. hey this is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And she said, what is this? <laughs> what is this? It's like the Bible. Wait, what is this? <laughs> and, I, and I say, yeah, I, I sent to her, a, 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 you know, a Bible verse, explain a little things. And, and she say, I, I say to her, you don't have a church. No, we don't have a church. Um, yeah, continue have meeting with your, with your friends. Mm -hmm. So let's go to see. For two weeks, they take the decision for have a meeting in the hill, start praying, 
and start reading the Bible. Wow. Natural church is Natural. happening. The Holy Spirit is doing the work. Mm. So they have now some meetings and I can do some Zoom callings. You're doing Zooms, yeah. For explaining the, the, the basic th things, but I don't like to put my dirty hands in this because, because I see it's a fresh that the Lord is doing something. Question, um, where are you going every two weeks? Is that to that city now? Uh, that, aren't you going, weren't you going to another city to teach now? Oh, that's to the jail. The jail. Ah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. So that's no, the other. No, no, story. no, 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 no. It's, all right, dude. Uh, I'm travel to Antofagasta. Hmm. That is five hours to my city. Hmm. So now we are starting a Bible study in that city because after of the whosoever's killed the noise tour, yeah. there are people that they uh, want to to know more about God and uh, more more about the Bible. So we're starting at uh, this Bible study. Yeah, and the other story. It's happened here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, a guy told me and said, Seba, I, I know uh, a rehab center here in Trujillo. Mm -hmm. So I asked you, are you available for going? And I said, let's go, dude. What time? Boom. 8 a.m. Let's go. So it, that place is, it, is one of the hard places here in Trujillo. Mm -hmm. So I went with this guy. I enter, he introduced me. I see that the, the, it's guys between the 15 and 60 years old. Wow. It's, and, and, That's a big and, wide yeah. range. And it's people with problems with drugs, with anger, and with drink, mm -hmm. you know? So I enter at, at that place. The guys are waiting me. That's amazing, you know? They, they have happy faces. It's passing from, the guy introduced me, and I will start to talk. And, and and then it's a dog, a biggest rot running to me. Rottweiler. A Rottweiler. Oh. Boom, boom. And I see him that is coming to <laughs> that me. That would be sketchy. He jumped. What? He jumped, dude. He jumped. I can see. The, the, the it's white. like a slow camera, you know, it's slow motion. Well, they say that wait, before you die, it's like slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I see the light. Yeah. So the dog, the dog is jump and he put his... You know, pa his paws on you. Yeah, and he tried to bite me, and I take my backpack here and. Oh, I just got you in the face. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So so the dog. Dude, that's the dog, crazy. The dog bite my backpack, and I and I and I only do it this. I I down my backpack and I turn around and I start to pray and I say pray and I say, Lord, I know that this is an spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. This is a spiritual thing. Yeah. So in your name, this need to stop. Well, here, let's let's break this down really quick. Oh, look it. We have actually a couple minutes before the break. Let me do this. Because I want to talk about I want to unpack that spiritual thing. Yeah. Because it's very important. Yeah. Because when you go out and you're doing the Great Commission, and I talked about this at the workshop mm. at the conference about mm. spiritual warfare. Mm. If you go out thinking that you're just going to go do ministry in the natural realm, mm. you're going to say a little prayer to God. Okay, Jesus, please help me. Thank you. You know, mm. like, look at when you're out there and you are in the process of going through the Great Commission to reach people for Christ, you are going through, you're going to the gates of hell, mm. right? But we know that the gates of hell will not prevail mm. on, on this rock, which is Jesus Christ. But you are trying to take people out of the kingdom of darkness and put them in the kingdom of light. Hmm. Satan and his demons are not happy about that. Their mm. whole world is built on trying to steal, kill, and destroy you. Mm. So I want to unpack spiritual warfare mm. and what you experience so we can look at this story from a supernatural um, realm, mm. right? Because we know there's a war outside of time and space that affects what happens inside of time and space. Mm. It's uh, it affects it's in, it's in a different dimension mm. that affects this dimension mm. and it's spiritual warfare as the Bible talks about it in Ephesians six. But we're gonna come back after the break in thirty seconds and we're gonna unpack that a little bit more. Don't forget to contact us mm. if you'd like us to come to your country. Book us. Go to thewhosoevers dot com. Um, I have a book called Kill the Noise. It's a discipleship faith builder book. It has a lot of uh, tour stories as well but it will help your faith grow. It's available everywhere books are sold. Mm -hmm. Kill the Noise by myself, Ryan Reese. And um, if you want to donate to the cause to help fund our movement to tour the world and bring the gospel, mm -hmm. all right, we'll talk to you soon. Peace. More 
of The Ryan Reese Show. Coming up, post your questions at Ryan Reese on his Instagram, Twitter, and or Facebook. Now, back, back, back to The Ryan Reese Show. All right, we are back. And if you joined us for the first half, wow, crazy stuff happening out here in, uh, in Peru. And... Um, Man, it's been just an awesome trip to be here in Trujillo, Peru right now. I have uh, Sebastian Seb. Is Seba. That? Seba. 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 Yeah. Seba. <laughs> Seba. 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 Out here, he's the Calvary Chapel pastor of uh, Trujillo. I'm sorry, Calvary <laughs> Chapel of Iquique, Iquique Chile. Yeah. But um, so, we're, yeah, we're out here. He flew out to, to join us on the tour. And the first half, we were just talking about. Um, the craziness of the unspoken things that are happening here in uh, Trujillo, such as orgas harvesting, human trafficking, yeah. and um, 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 what, what's it called? Exhortate. What's it called? Uh, where they hold you extortion. up with a knife? Extortion. extortion. Yeah. Where, they, where they hold you up with a knife to take your money, and they punk kids in school, and that's how they provide for their family. Mm. But you led some of those guys to the Lord, so mm. that's what's up. Mm. That's why we're here. Mm. Um, but then you had an op- you had an opportunity to go to the local rehab center with yeah. 15 to like 30 year old ish mm. or a little bit older mm. and <clears throat> we were talking about spiritual warfare yeah you walk in yeah and you go everyone's happy to see you the director's there you walk up to the front to start talking next mm. thing you know from the very back mm. boom a big all large black rottweiler comes yeah. running for you jumps up with the paws to yeah. go to your shoulders and to bite you in the face. Yeah. And you pull your bag up like a ninja in time <laughs> yeah. and block him. Yeah, Kramaga. Move. Yeah. Oh, yes, Kramaga move. Boom, block him. <laughs> and the dog doesn't bite your face off. Yeah. So what happens? Oh, and we were talking about spiritual warfare and you were explaining yeah. that it's spiritual warfare. Now. Yeah, because you, you know why I know that was a spiritual thing? Tell me. Because when I turn down and I start to pray, the dog is stupid. But it, it's, it's freezing. Freezing. Behind me. It stopped behind you. Yeah. It's frozen. like, in, in, and it's seeing me like this. He's looking up at you. Yeah. So I, 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 I don't, I control myself, you know, because. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been freaking out, dude. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. And, 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 the, and when the dog is, 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 is strong, you know, it's hard seeing me like this. There are some people that try to, to take off the, the, the dog, but it, they need uh, three guys. For to moving move it, the, to dog, move the dog, to move yeah, the dog. it's that big. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so listen, we're gonna talk about this a little bit more, but I want to break down something first of all. Spiritual warfare. You are inside of a rehab. When you're inside of a rehab, I've been there. Mm. We've casted demons out of yeah. people in rehabs and yeah. the whole thing. When you're in the rehab, you have literally opened yourself at some comp- some capacity yeah. to the supernatural realm of Ephesians six, um, a demonic realm. Yeah. Uh, strongholds, hmm. footholds, hmm. Uh, uh, addictions, the mainstream says, hmm. it, uh, portals if you want to, you know, portals to the demonic realm. Yeah. And the Bible talks about this in Ephesians 6. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities of darkness of the unseen world, no. of, of, of rulers in heavenly places. Like we're talking about demonic demons, warriors that have come to still kill and destroy. Yeah. Now these people are in this rehab because they have... The enemy has a stronghold in their life. So you're walking in to darkness and people that are being influenced Mm. by demonic realm. Mm. And maybe some even have demons in them. I don't know. Mm. But nevertheless, the light comes in and a dog attacks you. Now, the reason why we're saying it's spiritual warfare is because... They said that that dog is actually the kindest, nicest dog, and that dog is there to help people. It's like a, a drug, uh, not a drug dog. It's a, what do you call them? There's it's like for a, calm. It's, yeah, it's to, it's to, for, to bring calmness yeah. to people. It's a very nice yeah. dog, and they have them in these places. Yeah. And it's never attacked anyone or no, done no. anything, and now no. it attacks you. But where do we get this in the Bible? We see where demon uh, Jesus to cast out the demons, the demoniac, and they go into the pigs. And they yeah. become possessed. Yeah. Now, demonic realm can inhabit animals, mm. as we know, seen in the Bible. Yeah. And now here you are with the nicest, sweetest dog that's never talked to anyone. It's there for those people. Mm. But yet... The Christian guy comes in that's filled with the spirit to come tell these people about Jesus. Mm. And now that dog comes to bite your face. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, and you know that one of the guy that the Isaiah was was a, my contact. That, yeah, he was the guy that invited me, and he said, you know, Seva, I see this, and I start to pray immediately because I see that how the the the, the demons try to put fear mm -hmm. in you, yeah, and try to distract, yeah, to the guys, yeah, because. Then I talk with, with these guys about my life, I've, about the, my testimony, because you, you know I, I, the the thing that you say when you take drugs, when you take alcohol, when you take something that pornography, yeah, that the mating losing your co control, mm -hmm. you are open yeah. for the demon things. Yeah. You know this is the thing. Yeah. So the, the the Bible says that the idea is is we need to be full of the spirit. Right. So when you don't can control yourself, mm -hmm. this is not something of the Holy Spirit. No. When the people are full in the Holy Spirit, they can make decisions. They can go in to preach the gospel. They can be brave, you know. But when they the, have control, yeah. But when the demons appear on the life of the people, the people are under control of the demons, so they don't have no control. will. We don't have will, you know. Yeah. They, they, so, so yeah, I, I can, I can. Bueno, I, I, I share my testimony, and this is a, another crazy thing that happened at the end. Because yeah, we pray with the guys. Yeah, bye bye. See, boop. I, 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 I go into the taxi, and then a guy is running to to, to our car and say, tuk, 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 knock the, the window and ask to Isaiah, hey, where I can listen more about this. And and my friend is I, I I see his face like like you know like this is something that he never expect yeah so my friend said on on the afternoon because we are on a conference right so you if you want you can come with us and he say yeah I need more That's about the Lord and I asked my friend who was that guy mm. and he say he's the principal of the whole of the of the program of the program. So it's the first time that he's available wow. for the Lord because he never won something like this. Wow. So you can see how the Lord is touched the life of the people inside, right. but the Lord is trying to catch right. the other people yeah. that try to help the people that have yeah. bad things. And, and, and once he does, obviously what happens is then you have the principal of this program hmm. that he's bringing in the faith base into it. So we need to make sure, well, we're going to follow up because that guy that took you, he's, he's connected to the church. Yeah. See, that's just amazing. Mm. You just, you know, you can't put God in a box. I think we were kind of talking about that with the students on this mm. trip is that mm. we told them like, you don't know what God wants to do in, in every uh, city or mm. every village. And, yeah. the, and the Bible clearly states when it, when it says that Jesus went from town to town, village to village, mm. there was a different work. Sometimes he would heal a blind man. Sometimes he would cast out a demon. Sometimes he would just preach the word of God. Mm. Sometimes he would, you know, bring a bunch of people together and, and, and uh, minister to them and, you know, and eat with them. And mm. there's just all these, sometimes he'd raise the dead. I mean, yeah. so, turn water into wine. I mean, whatever, you know, he, he did yeah. so many different things. You can't put him in a box is my point. Mm -hmm. And as God has called us to the great commission to go, he's not, you know, one of the quotes that I got from the conference was like, he's not looking for um, your abilities. Yeah. He's That's looking amazing. for availability. And so many times in my personal life, <laughs> in your personal mm -hmm. life and, you know, everyone's personal life, you go, I, I don't have time to do that. Or, you know, I, but I got this, I got to do this with my kids or my wife, or mm -hmm. I got work or, you know, but, you know, when you really look at your life, you can, when you want to do something, you can make time to do anything. Mm. There's always time to do mm. something. Mm. Maybe it's not a lot of time, but you can do something. It's all about availability. It doesn't mm. mean that you're always available, but if you say, God, I want to be used. What do you want to do? I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, if a door opens, I'm going to pray for a door to open and a door will open. Mm. And then you can work with your schedule to make time to do that. And if it's planned, mm. you know, you make time to go eat, mm. you make time to go to the movies, you mm. make time to go play sports or yeah. watch sports or yeah. whatever. You have that time. Mm. So you got to, might have to remove a little bit of, maybe remove a football game out of your life mm. and put a ministry time in there. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But he's not, he's not looking for, you know, yeah, and you know something, Ryan, that Jesus many times he changed uh, their schedule. 
you know mm -hmm. i remember the time when when she when he was teaching uh, about uh is 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 uh the time of when he uh was multiplied the fish and the and the bread you know so at the end of of, of that story jesus is going with the the apostle the disciples and he, the idea of him is have time with his disciples mm. so they start to go in but the people like you say the people start to hey we need this please pray for me so we need to be available and flexible you know because uh this is a real thing i can i can share because like you say this is a spiritual thing and god use human people god use weakness people like me like you mm. so before of this trip <laughs> I, uh, my daughter have a problem in, in, in his shoulder, you know, in her shoulder. And I say, mm, probably it will be not good to go into that trip. You know, I have the ticket. She broke her collarbone. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, 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 I the, the, the company sent me that, that, that the, the ticket are ready. So it, the check-in is ready. So I say, yeah, mm, probably I will need not, not go. My wife is alone here. My daughter, that problem. Yeah, I say, yeah, Lord, if you really want that I go in, I will not pay anything because I, I, I buy, I bought, you know, the ticket. Yeah. So it's crazy. You wrote me. Lucas wrote me and and and, and said me, hey, Seba, uh, Ryan is asking if you are available for going. And he say, yeah, I'm available. And then seconds later of this, the company sent me a message and say, "Sorry, we are we changed your your your, your fly, so now you can choose, you can catch the money, or you can change the date." Oh shoot! So the day is uh, was on uh, um, twenty seven, mm -hmm. but here you, you you wrote me that the idea is is arriving here mo earlier. earlier. Oh yeah, for the conference. So, uh, so I say for the schools were earlier yeah. than the conference. So I say. Let's go. If the Lord is with, with me, it's totally cheap. It's totally free. Yeah. So I moved to 25 and I don't pay nothing. 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 So now when I arrive here and I can see all these things, I and say... And normally it's more expensive if you come earlier. More expensive yeah. because you know how many times uh, is... Uh, it's one day before of the trip. Yeah. yeah. One yeah. Oh, yeah, day. That's expensive to change a chick. Dude, so I don't pay. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's a so yeah, the Lord, you need to be flexible, you know? And you are fighting with your own ideas, with your with the things, but you, like you say, you are fighting uh, too with supernatural things, yeah. with the darkness things. But it, what's awesome is you got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That supernatural thing, the light. Yeah, it's amazing, dude. And and now we are seeing the fruits here, you know? Mm. Um, the students of CVI that they can see how the things that we do it is simple, you know? It's not it's not that rock star mega show, you know? Mm. It's something simple that the guys, the girls can see that really we love them. <laughs> One of the girls of the CVI asked me, because uh, she was never... She, it was the second group. Remember that we have a one group? Yeah, we had three groups. Yeah, three groups. So the third group, one of the girls, she want to ask me, and she, she say, she asked, uh, what are we doing? Why? No. What will we doing now? Yeah. And I say, only say to her, now you need to have fun, and now we need to break the ice to the kids. And she say, really? See. Si. And when she start to see the music, the uh, dance contest, the, the gyrus with the skin, I say, no, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, the, the people can can understand the message because we are talking in their language. Yeah, we are not trying to talk like oh, oh fancy yeah. or, or yeah, yeah. formal style yeah. of way. No, we are because Jesus do that. Yep. Jesus made the things simple. Jesus walk with the people. Jesus start to talk stories that the people can understand. So it's amazing. Look, look at Jesus, the way he spoke in the Bible. It's so simple. Yeah, yeah. It's so simple. <laughs> and that's literally how you need to talk to people about Christ. Simple, simple, Jesus 101 and to, to lead them to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But then after they find the Lord, Paul writes, you know, you know, some of you young believers, you're still drinking, you know, the milk, you need <laughs> the meat and potatoes. Yeah. But start with the simplicity of the gospel. John three sixteen and 17. Yeah. He came into the world to die on the cross for our sins. We're sinners. 
but he wants to transform our lives yeah. and we don't yeah. have to live the way we're living and, and and people know the way they're living the things that are destroying their lives the depression they're dealing with the suicidal thoughts they're living hopelessness fear of everything that's going on in the world mm. remember when 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 the whole like virus thing hit mm. you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say the word because i don't want my, my youtube to get messed up but uh but you, you know, know something ryan that like you say we need to be open mm. open for 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 the lord that want to do you know that uh this is a thing that i learned many times where there are some young people or people that want to to to, to help to us you know i say you need to be open mm. the lord is using the everyone that is open for for going for for told for sharing so this is this is something that what we need to learn you know and any and another thing that I can see with all this too, or because I want to explain a little thing uh, about the the thing that happened at the end of this tour, yeah, it's good that the the local people, the local Christian believers, they make they continue contact these schools, you know, showing love, yep. going for talking, yep. like you say, uh, sharing a piece a pizza time, yeah. you know, because. The idea is showing love. No, now the world is so crazy. The people are so sad. The people are anger. They can see the real love here, and we haven't. You know, mm -hmm. we haven't. The, the Holy Spirit put the power, bad put the love too. Mm -hmm. It's not only the yeah yeah the screaming hard. No, it's loving the people, mm -hmm. and it, this is amazing. The people when the people say in in Jesus that that they, that He's really loved them. The people are open for mm -hmm. learning. Yeah, yeah. If the yeah, in the same way, if they know that we really love them, mm. and you have a real conversation with them, and spend time with them instead of just tell them Jesus loves you and and give your life to Christ, mm. then that's where the doors will open is more conversation, and that's what we saw even like after at the school, like after yeah. the the response with the kids going around and talking to them. Yeah, that's why the follow up has to be consistent with the church to go back into the schools, go with the pizza. Say, hey, we're here, and, and then have kids come and give them free pizza and just say, hey, man, I'm here to, my agenda is to pray with you guys. If yeah. any of you guys need prayer, mm. if you even have questions about what was said mm. last time we were here a week ago, mm. and, you know, if you're looking for a church, let me help you find a church, mm. you know, plug them in. But it's just, it's so simple. Yeah. It's not like you don't have to go give this big mighty message, mm. but you should know the word of God. So when you go and share with people and you're praying with people, you could share the word if they ask or you know how the holy spirit leads mm. it's very now, simple in another thing that that happened you, this is happened yesterday mm. you share you are shared uh, at the front at the workshop mm -hmm. you know remember yeah so then you give you give me some minutes for explain some things yeah we end in i down to of the stage and a girl uh start to tell me and she she uh, she say hey guys you talk about these things and i fight all my life with suicide thoughts, mm -hmm. with depression. So please pray for me because I know was that. Was that that little girl? Little was yeah. it a girl? It's I, one of I, the. I prayed for another girl that was dealing with um, suicide. With, yeah, probably probably not the same. I I don't know. It's just like a, it's a younger girl. Yeah, it's a younger girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but this is the thing. She she say, um, you know, I want to be used by the Lord, but mm -hmm. but I am I fight with these things. So. You know that something that is is crazy that I explained to her. You know, the Lord he used the weakness people. Yeah, exactly. Because it's His glory, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. thing that I learned with like something that that fighting with many mental things is depending, mm -hmm. depending. I depend of my Lord. I depend the rock of Jesus. He's mm -hmm. strong. Mm -hmm. I am only the weakness guy that I need Him. It's not my things. It's not my strongest. It's his strongest. So I, I, I encourage her mm -hmm. for, yeah, you need to depend on the Lord mm -hmm. and the Lord will use you. And he ever do it. And just so you guys know, God, look, just look at the disciples. Yeah. God called these guys. Mm. These guys were not perfect by any means. <laughs> and he walked with them and he taught them. Mm. And he says, once you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you will be his witness. Like he uses imperfect people. And that verse that you're talking about is his, his strength is sufficient in our weakness. Hmm. His hmm. strength in our weakness. You're never going to be perfect. You're never hmm. going to have it all figured out. But God will use you if you're 
heart is fully committed. There's that my life versus Second Chronicles sixty nine. It says the eyes of the Lord search through the earth to strengthen whose hearts that are fully committed. Mm. How are you fully committed? You read, mm. which is you hear God's voice, you pray. That's talking to God, and then you obey. Mm. Read, pray, and obey. That's fully committed. So the eyes of the Lord look or search the earth to, to strengthen whose hearts that are fully committed. Mm. And he'll do the work in you and through you. Mm, yeah. And this is a thing that is, is amazing, you know. I, I remember the first time that I met your, your dad. Mm. And, and I remember that, that, that this day because this is the first day that I meet Raul Reese, you know. Mm probably was on 2004 in a pastor conference mm. 2004 I got saved 2008 okay. yeah yeah it's before yeah. um why why I know that because he passed from of the of the old pastor all these people and he say now I I, I will don't do, you can't do his accent. no 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 no, no. <laughs> you gotta be Mexican but he say <laughs> now please I need that you please pray for my son, Ryan. No way. Ryan is in drugs. Ryan is in... He told a lot of things. Yeah. And, and, and he said, please pray for my son, for me, that a guy that is recently listened this. Because I was a guy that I hate the churches, you know? Yeah. I, I want to f fight with the pastor. I, my dis one of my desires was burn churches. Just burn the church, yeah. So when I when I hear this, I say, "This is real thing." You yeah. know, I want this. These yeah. people is honestly. Yeah, honest. Yeah. So so now I see you. I see you that you are sharing. You are doing this, and 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 the prayers of the Lord are listening. Right. And like you say, depending the the, the eyes of the Lord see you in the perfect time dude mm -hmm. so it's amazing and, and it's happened with you mm -hmm. and it's happened with everything it's yep. not it's, a lot of people it's not special no it's no everything you know so this is amazing it's a it's a message that is for everything mm -hmm. it's not for the upper class or only for the low class it's for the everything it's er whosoever is yeah it's the whosoever it's thing it's for whosoever so yeah and, and 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 we are going with that with this message that love but that's real Mm -hmm. It's not something that we we are. It's only for the special people. It's mm -hmm. for every people that are available for going and serve the Lord. So yeah, it's well, amazing. Well, that's a good way to wrap up the show. Listen, whatever you, whatever you're doing now, whatever you're into, God can help you get out of that situation. He will change your heart. He'll change your mind. He'll get your sins, cast them as far as the east to the west. He'll bury them in the deepest part of the ocean. He'll never bring them up again. What he did on the cross, he said, it, cross, he said it's finished. He took all the sins away from the world and hung, them up, hung upon the cross. Then he died. He raised from the dead. And now he ascended to the right hand of the Father God. And he sits there and he intercedes for us. So we could come boldly to the throne of grace as we pray. And he will forgive us of all of our sins. And as we believe, we will receive the Holy Spirit, which is the power from heaven that will indwell in us and he will flow through us. And as you read the Bible, because the Bible is a spiritual book, I've said this before, but you need the Spirit of God in you. So when you read the Bible, it comes alive. And then that's when you read, you pray and you obey and your whole life will change. And God will show you who you are and what he wants to do. And that's what he does. He gives you downloads through the work of the Holy Spirit and their messages of what he wants to do in and through your life. Hmm. Any last words? Well, thanks, you know, for, for that time. You know, I love to spend time to, with the whosoever team, you know. I will we miss you guys. You. Yeah. I will miss you guys, you know. But I know that the Lord is moving different things in all, all the parts of the world. I am waiting the, 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 the next time that we are going. But I, can, I like to encourage all the South American people that are hearing me please contact us. We are available for going. You know, the Lord, he want to show his miracles, his power in, this, in these things. So please contact us, send a, a, an email, pray for that. And you know, probably soon we are going to, to your city, to your school. So yeah, we are full sending, my, my bro. Listen, if I can leave any last words with you guys, literally please buy a Bible. Get a holy Bible and read it. 
And if you don't like the translation, there's a ton of translations. <laughs> I don't care what translation you read minus the message. <laughs> <laughs> Just read something that actually says what the original Bible says mm. so it can transform you. It's all through relationship with the Bible. The Bible is the source of the power. Mm. Without the Bible, you cannot be a Christian because if you're a Christian, you means you're Christ-like. If you don't know what Christ teaches and you know what the Word of God says, how can you be a Christian? Mm. It doesn't make sense. So get a Bible and read it and find a, a church that actually, when they teach the Bible, they open it up and they read the Bible, not a verse Yeah. in an hour. I'm talking about reading the Bible verses. We love you guys. Talk to you guys next week. Thanks for joining us. Peace. This has been The Ryan Reese Show. To connect and find out more about Ryan, click on ryan-reese.com. Check us out next Saturday at 9 p.m. for The Ryan Reese Show.